Hello, welcome. Man, I gotta do that thing I get to do every once in a while that I don't really like doing. I gotta tell you, like, I don't, I don't, I didn't really like it. I don't know why this book exists. Fire and Ice Tigra, number one. I don't, I don't know how long ago this came out. Hold on, is there like a date on the inside cover? Published by Dark Horse 2024, so it must be kind of recent. And I... I got done reading this, and it's just kind of okay, and it's there, and it exists, and there are scantily clad women and a dinosaur. Like, that that's it. The peak of the book. Well, before I get to that. Story of the book. Tigra finds out that she's supposed to marry somebody, she throws a temper tantrum, and runs away from home. While running away from home, she runs into a dinosaur. Dinosaur tries to eat her. Her dad sends out a message to everybody going, Hey, bring my daughter home. And so now everybody's like, oh, hey, we get to marry Tigra. That, that's the story. It, that's it. So we start off with a little, uh, you know, how did I get in this mess? We're doing some in-media res, and then we flash back. Where she finds out that she's supposed to marry somebody, and she's unhappy. Turns out her brother, who I don't remember from the movie, is making out with, uh, like, her teacher or her handmaiden or whatever and they're afraid of getting caught by Tigra they get caught by Tigra and Tigra doesn't even notice um, you can see the only reason why you should pick the book up uh, there's there's like a couple reasons for that that what I just showed was one of them she runs away from home and very quickly runs into a dinosaur that is the other reason you should buy this book it's just if you want to see a giant dinosaur fight a dude in armor. Because that's what happens. So we go from here to seeing various people who are all out here getting the message from the king. That they should go rescue her. And this guy's like, ah, yes, I'm going to marry her. And that's pretty much what happens for the next several pages. Just people going, ah, yes, I'm going to marry her. And whatever. None of these characters or people or anything like that are in the movie. They don't make, they don't matter. None of this matters. It, it completely unmatters. Like, if you could somehow find something that not only doesn't matter, but actively is the inverse of mattering, that is this comic book. The art's okay. The writing's fine. Like, there's nothing actually, like, massively wrong with the book. It just also doesn't really provide any value. There's no insight here. There's no interesting stuff about the Fire and Ice universe. Meet a bunch of nobodies who don't seem to fit into the actual universe because... We've seen the movie, I hope. There's an Ice Kingdom and a Fire Kingdom and a bunch of other people, and that's it. There are no other organized kingdoms running around. There's no, uh, There's nothing like that. Sorry, I was just cleaning my glasses. You can see the indentation from that. I, yeah, that's, that's how I felt. In the middle of talking about the book, I had to take my glasses off and clean them. That's it. Like, I got nothing else to say, man. I didn't really enjoy this. It doesn't need to exist. It was not worth my, oh my lord, $6? This book cost me $6? I suddenly feel ripped off, dude. Like, I, that $6 is just paying for this cover. That's it. I wish I could, like, go into specifics of, like, well, I didn't like it because of these very detailed reasons, but it's just really, like, I read it. It was all fluff. There's very little substance here. It didn't provide any value to the Fire and Ice franchise, or whatever you want to call it. So, so why, why does it here? Why does it exist? Except to have Tigger in a bikini on the cover. Which... I'm looking at that all of a sudden, and I kind of feel like the bikini was, like, painted on after the rest of the image was made. Like, doesn't it look like it just stands out? Hold on. Hold on. Let's look at the, uh, the gallery at the back of the book. No, there's no, uh, there's no naked Tigra cover. So, I, I must be off base there. But I don't know. Something about the way the cover looks... Looks like the bikini was definitely added later and not part of the initial design. Maybe it's the uh, the coloring on it or something. I don't know. 
whatever. I'm getting weird, guys, so I'm just going to stop talking about this. You all have a good one. Take care.